So we've got the DIY soil sampling kit for EcoFarm ATRR. It'll turn up in your mail like this, delivered to you by courier, and I just suggest you get a knife and cut the and keep the box intact because you'll need it to send the stuff back. And hey presto, what have we got? So in here, there's two things that you need to keep big time. Is this is the overnight courier back again, which we'll need to put on once we've had the soil sample, and then we have the soil sampling instructions. And this just gives you an indication of how you should test in the paddock and what's in the box and a few other helpful instructions and things that need to be filled out. This all helps. Um, if we've got good information, we can help you out a lot better. So there you go. There's the instructions. Read through those carefully, and we'll go and do a bit of a demo outside to show you what to do next. Okay, we've come to do our DIY soil sampling. Now the key thing, bucket, soil tester, and what we need to do is keep away from gateways, water troughs, stock camps, chicken runs. So you want to put all the parts around your block that's not got uh, stock camps or build-ups of dung. So that actually gives us a decent set of soil samples to make um, some good analysis for you. Now the easy thing to do is you pop the plug in the ground, you stand on it, give it a bit of a wiggle, and up you come. That's one plug. Now what we want to do is we'll keep moving and we'll take about 10 plugs. Really should do about 10. That's about this bag full. And that will give you a good indication. Get around your block as much as you can. Get a good indication of what's going on. Once you get that on, done, in the bucket, we'll go back inside. Okay, I've just come back in from taking the test. Giving this a quick wash um, before we put it back in. Pop that in the bottom of your bag. Now the reason I like the um, square bucket because it actually makes it a bit easier to get it into the bag without handling it all. So we just get up and tip the sample in. Okay, now make sure, I haven't done it on this one, make sure you have labelled the bag the same way as it says on the forms here. Okay, so we need your name, address, delivery address, everything in there, and we need the same on the client name, exactly the same, and the sample location, right? So we've supplied a couple of rubber bands to go with it, so fold that over, push it down, get the rubber bands on it, and go nuts, because it needs to be held together, we don't want it spilling all over the place. Um, See, so it's held real tight there. You can sellotape it down if you like, stop it getting away. Um, with some people who are doing multiple soils, really important to get those names and the different addresses on there. Pop that back into your kit, fill out the forms, pop that in, and we're going to use the same box again. Now, this is quite important. This is the return address, and this is the courier paid part of the process so what we need to do is just take that off there and put it directly over the address that came with it put it on bang there you go and we'll get some sellotape and we'll stick it back down and we can take it to the post office or drop it in the mail at the gate and it's gone and it'll be back to us in no time